Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day as always. A couple stimulus updates today, so let's get right into those. So the $600 stimulus checks are on the way to the American people. Treasury of Secretary Steven Mnuchin tweeted that some people may be receiving their stimulus checks as early as today. Yesterday, the Senate did not receive a unanimous consent on the $2,000 stimulus checks that President Trump proposed. Senator Mitch McConnell did not favor the $2,000 stimulus check at all. So the next step is for them to bring it up in the formal vote on the Senate floor. President Trump was very angered as we discussed yesterday as he was alerted that the bill failed in the Senate last night. Senator Mitch McConnell decided to combine multiple unrelated things in the $2,000 stimulus check package. The combined bill called for increasing the stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000 and repealing Section 230. Now keep in mind, Section 230 is a reform which strips social media companies such as Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and other social media platforms from liability protection for fact-checking their users. Christmas Eve, remember President Trump tweeted, Twitter is going wild with their flags, trying hard to suppress even the truth, just shows how dangerous they are, purposely stifling free speech very dangerous for the country. Does Congress know that this is how communism starts? Question mark. Cancel culture at its worst. And section 230, exclamation point. So section 230 directly connects to the stimulus because President Trump is requiring for the reform of section 230 or the repeal of section 230 along with the $2,000 stimulus checks, especially because every time President Trump tweets about the elections, you guys can see on Twitter, he always gets fact checked, making him more and more aggravated at these big tech companies. When Senator Mitch McConnell introduced the combined bill, well, we know what happened. It was rejected immediately. Very, very quickly, it was rejected by the Democrats. After that, Senator Chuck Schumer, the leader of the Democrats in the Senate, asked the Senate for unanimous consent to increase the stimulus checks to $2,000, which Senator Mitch McConnell rejected. Senator Chuck Schumer was very upset with Senator Mitch McConnell and accused Mitch McConnell of putting together an outrageous bill that could have no chance at all of being passed. Senator Chuck Schumer said that McConnell's bill was a blatant attempt to deprive Americans of their $2,000 survival checks. He went on to state that Senator Mitch McConnell loaded up the stimulus bill with unrelated provisions that would do nothing to help struggling families across the country. He went on to state that Senator Mitch McConnell was trying to kill two birds with one stone because McConnell was against the $2,000 stimulus check for the past eight months. Senator McConnell has fought hard to prevent the $1,200 stimulus checks, which is why we ended up with $600. By combining the other issues with the $2,000 stimulus check package, McConnell knew that a bill like that would not pass. These are considered poison pills. Second, by attaching those particular items in the $2,000 stimulus check package, McConnell knew that they would make President Trump's party very happy. And essentially, a happier President Trump would be way better for the Republican Party when it comes to the Georgia runoff elections, which is on January 5th. If President Trump is happy, he will go out and do his part in terms of campaigning for the Republicans and unify the entire party. Therefore, after McConnell failed with his combined bill, he then rejected the standalone bill of $2,000 stimulus. At this point, now the proposal will require a full vote or a formal vote by the Senate. However, we do not know if and when this would happen as of right now. In order for the $2,000 stimulus checks to pass, the Senate would need every single Democrat and at least 12 Republicans to vote in favor of the $2,000 stimulus checks. Chuck Schumer had previously promised, as we talked about yesterday, that every single Democrat would vote in favor of the $2,000 stimulus checks. Right now, there are five known Republican senators that will be voting for the $2,000 stimulus checks. However, keep in mind, there are many Republicans that are completely against the $2,000 stimulus checks. Senator Toomey said yesterday, blindly borrowing more than $600 billion so we can send $2,000 stimulus checks to millions of people who have not lost any income is a troubled policy. In political news, Congress continues to take care of the national defense spending bill as Congress has passed it. However, President Trump has vetoed it 
And now Congress must attempt to get a two thirds vote in order to override President Trump's veto. The House did override President Trump's veto 322 to 87 aggravating President Trump. Now the attempt to overriding President Trump's veto will continue to move forward to the Senate where they will take their attempt. The Senate is expected to override the veto because the defense spending bill passed earlier this month on a vote of 84 to 13. So we will have to just wait and see what happens in the Senate. Like I said, President Trump was very aggravated when he found out that the House overrode his veto and he tweeted, weak and tired Republican leadership will allow the bad defense bill to pass. Say goodbye to vital section 230 termination. This will not help the Republicans in any way for the Senate election, which is now only less than a week away, though the Republicans do have a slight lead. There is still a lot of variation that could occur in this week leading up to the election day. Republican candidates Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue are a few Republicans in the Senate that have chosen to support President Trump's demand for the bigger $2,000 stimulus checks. Senator Kelly Loeffler stated that the president has fought for our country since day one and continues to fight for every single American. I have stood by the president 100% of the time and I am proud to do that and have said absolutely that we need to get relief to the American people now and I will support that. So hopefully you guys all learned something new and enjoyed the video. I thank you all for your continued support. I do appreciate it a lot. Make sure to drop a like down below. It does help me out tremendously. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on those post notifications so that way you're aware of when I do upload my next video. Comment down below. Till next time. Peace.